Hey everybody, Patty Cake here. Got something new for you today. So, this is Bina, and uh, Bina and I play in a role-playing game. We play some D&D a couple times a month, and so we like to use different dice. And uh, since we just had Christmas, Bina got herself some precision game science dice. Though. And uh, also with that, I ordered... A pound of dice. So we're going to unbox this game science pound of dice and see what we get with it. And uh, I, I hope you like it. And she's going to pick some out. I'm going to pick some out. We're going to compare them to the dice we have been using. And uh, you know, hey, let's get into it. Give me a second. I'm going to pause and reposition the camera so you can see what we got. So first thing I want to do is just kind of give you some contrast here. Uh, so we've got different dice and you know this may be hard to see but if you compare these two dice you can see this red one real sharp edges and points real finely made where this one is all rounded points and edges and that's because this type of dice they take and put through a tumbler to smooth it out and make it smooth but the problem with that as a gamer is that in doing so they make the dice not uniform and there's tests you can do to actually see and you mix salt with water and you can float the dice in there and roll them and they'll tend to land on a particular side and they're not balanced you go through this type of thing it's precision crafted let's get that in focus uh, with the sharp edges and sharp points and you just have a better dice more accurate stuff. So basically what I'm doing here, aside from a few specialty dice that I keep, I'm replacing all this with stuff I get out of here. Me too. Her too. Right? Me more. So I'm going to move all these to the side, out of the way, and we're going to crack into this pound of dice. Alright, so let's crack into this pound of dice. See what we get. Game priority mail. Game science pound already, of dice. I already see one with that I want. Man, oh. very colorful. Lots of different Ooh. stuff. Yeah, it's exciting. I'm excited. Initial initial look in here. I see some nice colors. Uh, good sampling. The idea of this is to get a good sample of what they carry. So, uh, if you see a particular thing that you like. You can order a full set and the precision. Uh, from what I understand, a lot of these may be seconds or factory rejects. Um, not not quite sure, but we're going to crack into this and divide them out and see what we get. Yep, go ahead. This is my knife. Uh, it keeps going out of focus. Don't know why. We're gonna. What I'd like to do is let's divide these out. And try to put them in stacks of everything that's alike. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. This should be somewhere over a hundred different dice. So let's put all the the like colors together. Colors or dice? Let's do colors. Oh, okay. Wow, so it's quite a few over here even that you can't see that are off the off the screen. No but, wonder why. Uh, in general, I'm gonna try and get a count, and we'll uh, we'll come back. Well, 169 uh, different dice. So uh, within here we've got you know the uh, cream, color. cream color, different different color palettes. Um, I don't know that I see a full set of any one thing. Um, but 
you know, I kind of like having multiple dice, different colors, because uh, then when you roll a big set of dice, you um, um, can tell which one you roll. So if you're rolling for one weapon or another, you can use a dice tower, my homemade dice tower here. Should have done. Should have done a video of that. Uh, should have made a video of you making that. These have been categorized into their own little, own little family. So we've got some of the oversized die. Yes, I like oversized uh, the die. The miniature, miniatures here. We got some that looks like like little diamonds. With yep, there are some specialty dice in here. Um, we got this guy here. One, two, three, four, five. This is considered a five-sided die. Whoa. Even though it's uh, got six side, but it's number one through five. Uh, so a specialty die there. These, I um, think, are reject because they don't have numbers on them. Well, I think they have... Circles. They've got circles, so you could put your own character in there. Yeah. It's a ten-sided like die, it. so you could actually uh, number that yourself as a ten-sided yeah, die. Uh, let's see what other specialty um, we've oh, yeah, got. Because this one's got the circles too. P, R, and S, or That's a three -sided one, dice. two, three, um, three-sided die. Kind of a neat little. Need a little die there. And then you have these really pretty peach ones. Peach is my favorite color. Got this. Looking for other specialty. Specialty? What do you mean specialty? Specialty die. Oh, like oh. this. Uh, we do have one here. It's got uh, like chess set shapes on it. Uh, king, queen, pawn, uh, uh, rook. It's kind of interesting. A specialty. I love how a lot of these are like the ones that haven't gone through the uh, thing. They're they're all that way. They all haven't gone. Now, one thing you'll notice on these, yeah. they come out of the the mold, and you can see uh, maybe you can see kind of the rough edge there, and that's where it came out of the mold and the casting, and they clip it. And so other dice manufacturers take their dice and put them in a tumbler to get rid of that. Um, that really shouldn't affect the balance of this. I mean, if you wanted to, you could take a little bit of sandpaper and uh, smooth it out um, after you've clipped it. Or but, clip it a little more. I but mean, you look at this and it doesn't have one of those. It's like, you can have the sparkly ones. <laughs> Matches your personality. Oh, sometimes. matches my personality. Sometimes, sometimes. I wish they didn't clip these, because then I'd be able to just take these and put them right on the floor by your bed, where you get out in the morning. Uh, that would be so mean. <laughs> well, it would help you wake up. Can't deny that. <laughs> Let's move those in here somewhere. This is my category. <laughs> so apparently those are the ones that she likes. Mm -hmm. Let's see some of these different different sets. I wasn't gonna mix them, but <laughs> Sorry. those are, the, are all the sparkly ones. I would call it gold dust and silver dust, but that's just me. That's not the official name. Sparkly. Or sparkly. I like these uh, dark marbled ones. You can have those. I'm okay with giving you those. <laughs> so, all in all, it's very nice. Uh, I think I may uh, move them into uh, from here in piles of how many sides they are so you can kind of get an idea of uh, how many of each denomination die you get. So we'll be back in a second. So here we got categorized out. These are all of our four-sided dice that we received. 
six sided die, eights, tens, twelve, and twenty. These are the specialty ones that we have found. Uh, again, uh, it's a three sided die. This is actually a five sided the way it's put together. This is the one with the different chess sets on it. We actually have here a 14 sided die, uh, a 24 sided die here. Very neat, uh, interesting shape. It's like a square with three D sides. Um, and a second white colored one with the chess shapes. So all in all, I'm really pleased and we're, we're going to go through and kind of pick out what we want for our uh, dice bag. But uh, uh, these are some really pretty die, uh, dice. I just love them. I like the precision and uh, uh, that's what we've got. So, so hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Um, we've enjoyed unboxing these uh, Game Science dice and uh, I think they're fantastic. Very pretty, well made. Uh, nice variety. Um, in the pound of dice, we've gotten all different kinds from the solids to the, the clear to crystal to some inked, some not inked, uh, some with sparkles, some without. Um, a lot of the most common dice that you actually use with a few um, unusual dice mixed in. And uh, I'm looking forward to playing with these. How about you? Um so excited yeah so we're gonna fight over who gets what now but uh we're not gonna put that on camera <laughs> so as always this is pat a cake and sabina out